Sheriff Mobile wants to tear down Lad People's Stadium. He revealed his plan to News 5 today. It includes giving $10 million to South Alabama for its new on campus football stadium. News 5's Peter Albrecht reports. According to Mayor Sandy Stimson, a recent engineering study shows Lad People's Stadium needs $6.7 million worth of maintenance. Because it's a, a steel and precast concrete stadium that's 70 years old, there's an ongoing corrosion problem. The mayor says it would be cheaper to give South Alabama $10 million, $500,000 a year for 20 years for their new on-campus stadium that could be used by the Senior Bowl and the Dollar General Bowl and then tear down LAD and build a new 5,000-seat high school stadium in its place. It is a much better proposition purely financially to uh, fund the USA Stadium than it is to try to do the maintenance on this stadium. Even with building a smaller replacement here? Yes. I just think we need a lot more answers. But the chairman of the Ladd Stadium board, Ann Davis, says there aren't enough facts, financial or otherwise, that have been clearly laid out. She says it seems like USA and the mayor are fast-tracking the plan out of nowhere, and everybody needs to slow down. We've made a lot of mistakes in the past moving too quickly, and I don't think it's right that South wants everyone to jump so they can start next month. The mayor says he will present the plan to the city council in the next couple of weeks, and he insists that it's the right move. I, I really do not look at this as funding South Alabama. I look at it as an opportunity for the city to solve a problem that we have. Now, it's not certain how much it would cost to demolish LAD or how much it would cost to build the smaller stadium on the site. Later in sports, Randy Patrick will have more on what USA is doing to drum up taxpayer support for its new stadium. Peter Albrecht, WKRG News 5.